One of the most powerful business and civic leaders in Northeast Ohio is leaving the stage soon. Cleveland Clinic President and CEO Dr. Toby Cosgrove is retiring at the end of next month. This week, we had the chance to sit down with him for a wide-ranging, candid discussion. This clip begins with the question of how he wants to be remembered for his work at the clinic. I don't think about my legacy. I think that's for other people to think about. Mm -hmm. I've had a great time. I spent a lot of time worrying and about the Cleveland Clinic, trying to make it the best place that I can be. Uh, and I think that's other people's to think about what a legacy is. Okay, let, let me ask you this way. What are you most proud of? I'm most proud of the people. The I'm most proud of the people here. The uh -huh. people here are amazing. They, they work very hard. They're very talented. They've looked after a tremendous number of people. And frankly, the Cleveland Clinic is about people. It's not about buildings. Uh, it's about the, all the people, the 50,000 people who work for the Cleveland Clinic. They are the ones that produce the great uh, results. Well, the last time you talked, uh, we, we talked, you talked about uh, the transition from surgeon to hospital executive, and you said it wasn't a natural transition for you because you know you no. were a surgeon. Did you anticipate not only the job that you were going to have to do here, but just the role you would have in the city of Cleveland? I had no idea. I came uh. to I came to Cleveland uh, to be a surgeon, and uh, as I. Uh, led the surgical and then became CEO. Uh, when I became CEO, the, the job changed enormously. It's over, you know, I then became a public fi figure for the first time. Yeah. And it used to be that we would go to dinner parties and I'd be introduced to people as Anita Cosgrove's husband because no one <laughs> knew me. And all of a sudden, you know, I become a public figure, which I'm totally unused to. Mm -hmm. it was strange, obviously. Well, it's very strange. You know, yeah. the first, you know, I'm about two weeks after I get the job, I go to buy a Christmas present, and by the time I pick it out and pay for it, four people have stopped me. Wow. Somebody wants a job. Somebody wants to complain. Somebody wants to congratulate me. You know, it's it's amazing. You're gonna miss that, aren't you? You know, <laughs> some of it I'll miss. Some of it I won't miss. <laughs> Anything you'd like to say to the people of Cleveland? I'd like to say thank you for the opportunity to uh, be here in Cleveland, to be part of what has happened here, and, to, and for the privilege of looking after a lot of people. And you can see the entire interview on 7 Minutes this Sunday morning in the 9.30 half hour of Channel 3 News Today. And after that, you can see it at WKYC.com.